Hello everyone and welcome to the Best of Beauty Week for 2023, where each day this week I'm sharing a specific category dedicated to the best of luxury beauty in 2023. I'm Mo, which is short for Monique, and today it's all about lip products. Lip prep, lip prime, lip plump, lipstick, all the things. Lip products, the best of the best. Let's hydrate and begin. Thank you all so much for being a part of the Best of Beauty Week. We're almost on the last day. Ah! <laughs> Technically, past couple of Best of Beauties, this would have been the last day. I changed things around just a little bit. So we've got a new category and I'm excited to share it with you. So make sure you've got your notifications turned on and you're subscribed for the best of the best the top tier, the most reached for, most loved lip products in 2023. I'm gonna share some lip liners. I got lip prep and lip plumpers. I've got lipsticks and I got lip glosses. And I also have some kind of hybrid, multifunctional lip products because honestly, there are some lip products that say that they can be used in so many different ways, like on the face and all the things, and they never really work out that way, but these actually did. So I'm excited to share them all with you. Let's talk lip prep, lip prime, lip plump lip care. <laughs> I think that's what we'll categorize this as, lip care. Now, just like with your base and all of the things, you want to have a nice prepped, smooth canvas when you are going to go in over top with lipstick so that it applies better, it wears better, it looks better for longer periods of time. And I have been using these products with great success. And I'm gonna start off with a lip plumper. This one here is from Dr. Dennis Gross. And it is the Plump and Repair Lip Treatment. Now, lip plumping is not something I use to get bigger lips per se, but I like using lip plumpers as my lip prep because I have a lot of lines in my lips and a lip plumper just smooths them. It's very temporary, obviously. Now this product has been go-to, really, really enjoy it, have found it to be super effective because it gives good hydration to my lips and it plumps them in turn, smoothing my lines. So then let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll go in with lip liner and lipstick and the products wear so well for longer periods of time and there's so much more. It does, you feel it, you do feel it, <laughs> but I don't mind. It doesn't really per se bother me, but it's not over the top painful. I think this compared to actually getting something stuck in your lip, <laughs> this, I'll take this over that any day. <laughs> One thing I'll note with this is if you go a little too close to your lip line, it gets really red. That's what happened to me. It gets really, really red and you can really see that like there's something going on, but it's so smooth and so juicy. I love it so much for that. It's effective. It does what it says. And on top of all of that, it's super hydrating. Really, really nice. Next up is from Sisley. This is the Nutritive Lip Balm. And it is as it sounds. It's a lip balm. It, this is extremely hydrating, comfortable balm that really helps with extremely dry lips. So if you have chap lips, dry lips, you just want that extra hydration, this is a go-to product for that. It's a little bit more on the thicker side because it is a true balm, but the texture melts and blends into the lips really, really nicely. So I do also use this as like a lip prep. I just use a little bit less, a lighter layer of application. But also if you want a little bit more intensity, a little bit more hydration, just a little bit more, I use that as a part of my nighttime routine to really just slather on the hydration. <laughs> it's comfortable, it's not heavy, it's not sticky. It's a nice balm, super effective at just giving you hydration, leaving your lips comfortable and smooth. Really, what more could you ask for? <laughs> this next product, I think it's just now become super popular or went probably went viral or something like that. But this is from Summer Fridays. I used to use this way back when, when they first came out with it and it was in like a metal tube that was the worst packaging ever <laughs> but now they have great packaging with a nice applicator summer friday this is the lip butter balm and it is exactly as it sounds this has got a great texture to it it's silky and applies beautifully and it has a great applicator that literally just fits and hugs your lips it makes your lips look super super juicy so you're getting that hydration you're getting that nice plump and juicy look to the lips and it's not sticky because let me tell you i can't do sticky lips 
no thank you. Another lip plumping product that I love to use to prep, but it's not as good and intense as the Dr. Dennis Gross, but you still get a good plump. But there's some differences and I'll share them with you. But this one is from Cali Ray. This is the Big Swell Hydrating Lip Plumping Gloss. Now this one, this one has little glitters in it. Which they do kind of scatter when your lips dry down. So I don't really love that. But I like the formula on this a lot. It does give you a plump. It's nice and juicy, not sticky, nice and comfortable, hydrating, all the things you want. The tingle on this is not bad either. The applicator on this is nice too because the shape of it allows it to just hug the lip when you're applying it. So this too works great as lip prep, hydrating, plumping, smoothing, all the things you want. <laughs> lip liners, we all need them. I kind of got stuck on one for almost the entire year. <laughs> But then I actually have two to share with you that were just incredibly performing go-tos and they actually both come with brushes attached to them. I'm going to start off with this one. It's very small because, like I said, use this non-stop. And what's great about lip liners is you can totally just fill in your entire lip with a lip liner, go on top with gloss. Easy! This one in particular is from House of Siage. The shade is Beige Affair. You see how creamy? And that's what I love most about it. It's creamy, but not too creamy to where the point that it's like melty. It doesn't feather. It looks great. It's more on the matte side, but creamy matte, comfortable matte, beautiful matte. And it does come with a brush that's been tattered and torn and used a lot. <laughs> Clearly, I love this the most this year. The other lip liner that's just outstanding, top performing, amazing in 2023 and beyond is from Sisley. This one is in the shade Chocolat, and this too has a brush. Same kind of thing. Super creamy. Clearly, I have a type, okay? <laughs> the House of Siage one. It's a little bit more pinky versus the Sisley, which is a bit more of that chocolate brown undertone. And I think you can tell that the House of Siage one, it's a bit more creamy just by looking at the swatches, right? The Sisley too glides on the lips very nicely. You can fill in the lip with a gloss, it'll stay put. It's very comfortable, very easy. Just nice lip liners. I really like these a lot. I've got a few liquid lipsticks to share with you. Now, just so you know, I can't do matte, I can't do drying. So just know that these liquid lipsticks are something special. This one we're gonna start off with is from Clé de Peau. This is the Cream Rouge Shine. These are super comfortable and the packaging is really nice. Okay, got a nice applicator. Really creamy pigmented formula. These are not your typical just liquid lipsticks. Very shiny formula, very creamy and very long lasting. They're not sticky. They don't feather everywhere. Very comfortable and moisturizing on the lips. And this color, <laughs> they have a whole, they, they came out with quite a few colors, but I went with something that I wanted to have some fun with. And I definitely did. I love doing cocktails, especially when it comes to my lips. I love doing multiple different colors and just having fun and getting creative. So when I picked this up, I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, these are gonna go so well together. So I picked up this one. This is the Cream Rouge Sparkles. It's literally a creamy, beautiful liquid lipstick with just sparkle, but in the Clé de Peau, beauté type of way, okay? Check this out. Do you see that? And although it's got all those sparkles and glimmers and shimmers, you don't feel them on the lips. You don't feel any grainy glitters on the lips. It's so creamy and comfortable. You can wear it all on its own, but what I love to do is apply it on top of this beautiful pinky shade, but it's wearable. It's not over the top where you look weird, like what is she doing? It's it's just fun, but in a wearable type of way. <laughs> and again, both of these have such a pretty, comfortable, just nice formulation. The Rouge Allure Lac from Chanel. 
I have a ton of these. This is such a lightweight liquid lipstick formula that is so easy to wear. Now this one in particular is from the Holiday Collection and it's in the shade... <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face before I say the name. It's in the shade Fancy Prune. Wait till you see the color. I think they really nailed it with the name. <laughs> You see that? It's so pretty. It's actually a really pretty color. Long wearing, it's comfortable, and this is nice and shiny. And again, I like the color. It's fun. It's a step outside of my traditional usual nude colors or soft pinks that I always tend to wear. Packaging is really nice. We love the doe foot applicator. Super easy to wear, and they feel like nothing on the lips. That's the best part about it. Look at that. I have two multifunctional lip products. What I mean by that is they are products that you can use on the face like for, as blush, but you can also use as lip product. Let's talk about this one from Valentino. This is a liqui, liqui rosso. <laughs> Can't even say that. Two in one soft matte liquid lipstick and blush. Love this is blush. This did make it in the best of beauty blush day. So good. Really pretty. As a lipstick, I was not expecting that. I think I've just tried too many products that say they can be used all over and they never really work. It's either really good as one thing and not the other. But this, it feels like nothing on the lips. And I really like the applicator. I really like the applicator. It's got that little pointy end to it so that you're able to get nice and precise. This color in particular, it's a very soft and easy wearing color. And this is more of my everyday mo kind of pinky nude shade. You can build this up or you can kind of do a light application. But I just love, I love it. It's more of a matte in finish, but it's that soft matte. Now, although it's matte in finish, it's not drying on the lips. It feels like nothing and it's, it's just beautiful. A great formulation and a true multifunctional product that you can use on the cheeks as blush and on the lips. Next, we have another multifunctional, multi-purpose product from Bobbi Brown. This is the Rouge, Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. This is fun. And this is a bolder color. This is Chocolate Cherry. Now, she looks intense, okay? And I too, I was like, oh. But I tell you, when I go in with a beauty blender on the cheeks, it looks so nice. It's such a pretty flush of color. But then on the lips, I'll just pat it and just blend it. Like it's super easy, super fuss free. It's really great. And it works good as both. On the lips, it's hydrating and comfortable. And then on the cheeks, it is beautiful as well. You can build it, you can share it out. It's a fun color. Really like it, super easy. We love things that are multifunctional. We get a lot more use out of it. Let's talk luxury lipsticks that impressed and I couldn't stop using. Yeah. Let's start off with what I'm wearing today. This one is from Gucci. <laughs> this feels like a gloss. It's so creamy, so comfortable, and I really like the packaging. It's a little bit more of the slim. It's a little dirty. Hold on. I use my stuff. I know. I'm sorry. I always forget to like clean it, Monique. Gotta make it look pretty. But <laughs> this is cool packaging. This is more of the slender packaging versus the regular Gucci lipsticks, which Peggy Beige is still my favorite. I love her. And Gucci matte lipsticks, they are some of the best formulas. The correct name for her is the Glow and Care Shine Lipstick, and that really describes it to a T. So this shade in particular is Peggy Taupe, and it's a little bit more sheer, but then you can build it up. And it's super, super creamy and shiny. You're not going to build it up to anything, you know, too intense. But it's super creamy, super shiny, super comfortable. Wears really well. And you don't mind pulling this out of your purse, pulling this out of your pocket, and reapplying. Because you're going to get nice hydration. It's This color in particular, I find that it really goes with everything. On the days when I just don't know what to do, <laughs> I pull this color out quite often. I've got an Armani Lip Power Matte Lipstick. I know, I don't like matte lipstick, but there are the exceptions that are actually really good. And this is one of them. I really like the packaging on this as well. I think it's sleek, it's very Armani, you know? And, and the shape, it's so perfect for when you wanna be precise and you don't wanna use a lip liner. 
I really like the shape for that. This is in the shade 117. It's a medium beige mauve, and I think that describes it to a T. I'll give you one swipe. She's pigmented, she's creamy, and again, for a matte, it's more of a comfortable matte with good staying power and again, super comfortable on the lips. Another product from Bobbi Brown. This is the Lux Matte Lipstick. Now hold on. <laughs> for a matte, she's nice, super comfortable. Let me show you. Nice, pretty swatch. That's just one swipe. You see how creamy and rich and nice? Now this lipstick is actually skincare infused, so it's a little bit more comforting on the lips, but still that nice matte finish, but I like to call it a soft matte because it's not a true drying, flattened, dull kind of matte. And this has very nice staying power as well. Glides nicely, super, super creamy. And the packaging, I like the packaging too. It's nice. Right? Nice. <laughs> Earlier this year, Hermes came out with some shiny lipsticks. This one, I really enjoyed, like so, so, so much. Packaging, it's more of the limited edition packaging over the traditional one. Now these are a little bit more on the sheer side, okay? But they're very comfortable and nice and shiny and hydrating. I really, really enjoy this. See that? The Hermes reminds me of the Gucci. It's hydrating and shiny and comfortable but you're getting a bit of color as well. And it's very comfortable on the lips. Super, super hydrating and comfortable. Easy to wear, it goes with everything. This color in particular goes with everything. Now, a part of one of my favorite lip combos. It's from Sisley. I get it out the little pouch. It's even it's got its own little pouch. <laughs> It's this gorgeous nude lipstick. The Le Fito Rouge. Let's take a minute for the packaging. Ooh. Now the formula on this, we'll go down here. This is more like a satin lipstick, but it's very comfortable and hydrating and it glides very smoothly, super comfortable. I will say it's quite similar to this matte one from Armani, but the formula is completely different. All right, this is probably my most favorite lip product category. I love lipsticks, all kinds, okay? But I am a true <laughs> lip gloss girly at heart. I am. I love lip gloss, they're just so easy and I have a few really good ones to share with you. I also have a lip oil and it's not the Dior one. Surprise, shocker. <laughs> I probably could have put this in with the lipsticks, but it's this one from Hourglass. This is the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Lip Balm. I have her in the shade Trace. I use this so much. This is so easy and I love the sleek, slim packaging. This is super hydrating and nourishing and a feel good type of product on your lips. Now, just make sure you know that this doesn't go down when you turn it up. So make sure when you turn it up, you don't go too far. This is super shiny and juicy on the lips. It like melts into your lips. It's a great, great, great formula. And look at that color. Do you see the shine and the juiciness? And it stays like that. Oh, and your lips are just so hydrated and comfortable, all while not being sticky. That's the best part. We can't do sticky, but be careful because sometimes you can get carried away <laughs> and put too much and then it'll get like that nasty yucky thing when you go like that. Yeah, just be careful. But other than that, it's a really outstanding product. Now she does say that she's plumping. I'll give it the hydration, but the plumping, mm, I didn't get that, but it's still a great product. The Dior Lip Maximizing Plump Glosses. I have four of these and I'm down to two. <laughs> yeah, I went through two and I can't believe it. You just constantly want to apply them. They're just so easy and they do give a little bit of a plump. These are the two colors that I have left. I used up the iridescent one and the orangey looking one. These are exactly as they sound. They are plumping lip glosses, super juicy, hydrating on the lips, non-sticky and they give a little bit of plump. But what's nice is they have a little bit of color to them. Nothing over the top, just a little bit of color. This is more of your everyday, easy wearing color story. And then there's this one. This one's really pretty. How 
How fun is that? I really like how this translates color wise. Super pretty. These are great. They recently came out with new colors, but I finished two tubes already. I know I can finish these two and then I'll <laughs> probably by the time I finish these, it'll be more new colors, but they're great. This is the lip oil I was talking about. This is the soft pinch lip tinted oil. This is from Rare Beauty. Wow. This was like an unexpected kind of thing for me. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did. I think it's because the formula is just, I find the formula to be quite unique. It does, it's not like your traditional lip oil, okay? I have the Dior lip oil with that really big applicator and I, I like it, but I don't know. I felt myself using this a bit more. But once you first apply it, it gives you that true lip oil experience, but then it dries down and leaves you with a very soft tint of color. It's supposed to do that, but I like that first glossy apply before it fades and dries down. So I would constantly reapply it and use it. And I went through a couple of these already. This is like my third one, but it's good. It's just, I wanted to constantly have that feeling on the lips. <laughs> and even when it dries down and leaves you that little bit of tint, it's still very comfortable and not sticky. Great formula, great stuff. Now you see, I tried removing my swatches and the Rare Beauty is a little bit of a stain, but it's soft and it does that on the lips. The Chantecai Brilliant Lip Glosses. I tell you, these are a very, very close second to my Tom Ford Gloss Luxes. Those are the best glosses I've ever tried. Okay, the Tom Ford Gloss Lux. Love them. But these are a very, very close second. This here is, this one is my favorite color. Use this all the time. I go through this color. This is my most repurchased color. These, hold on, let me show you the applicator. I love the applicator so much. It's a little brush. It's a very light nude gloss and she is a glossy, glossy, glossy. Not sticky, super hydrating and comfortable. And this shade in particular came out for the Precious Metals Holiday Collection. It's another nudie shade, but it has little flakes of glitter. Not the chunky glitter that you feel. You don't even notice that they're there, but they just add an extra bit of glossy goodness to the lips. I clearly have a type when it comes to my color stories for my lip products. These are all very practical colors, wearable colors. Use them a ton this year, and that's why they're the best of. Simply put, the best of. <laughs> Those were the best of for lip products in 2023. Most used, finished them up, love them, couldn't stop using them, couldn't stop recommending them. Amazing lip products. We want comfortable lips and we want the best of the best when it comes to it. I'll see you tomorrow for our finale and our brand new category in the Best of Beauty Week for 2023. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.